I'm still, hey, this is a, another MSP unplug session. I was going to start by saying I'm still trying to figure out what to call it. Like it's a Steve Riot roll up. Steve Riot roll up. That's it. It's a roll up. I don't know. We're going to figure that out. But still, we have one unplugged topic we want to touch on because uh, in, in relative to the context of your target client profile and the lessons learned around that. So, Steve, what is the hardest deal that you've had to you know, choose to walk away from because it wasn't the right fit? Yeah, it happened really recently. Um, I don't know about you, Nate, but I am dealing with legal paperwork a lot more than I ever had to. And mm-hmm. this was north of a half million dollar deal. Um, it fit what we wanted to sell. It was good, but they had a purchasing agreement that we had to sign. So mm-hmm. a legal set of terms for us to be a vendor of theirs. And, you know, I, I like I got the initial one. I'm like, oh, it's like seven pages. You know, like in some of it was like their terms of payment and something, you know, which were pretty pretty OK. I got to reading it and it referenced six other Web pages, including things like uh, asbestos remediation, uh, foreign powers that where equipment may or may not have been either created, uh, came from or delivered. I mean, it was hundreds of pages of paperwork that I was committing to. And I remember the one that was like the thing that threw me off the cliff of like, I'm not doing this deal. 24 hour notice to access to our physical facilities of our data, meaning un they would be unrestricted access to our data physically to yours, to, to, your, ours, to your to your data. Ours. Wow. And they were to give us only 24 hour notice. I'm like, I cannot agree to that. Like. No, I would never give anybody unrestricted access to her data, no matter what. Nonetheless, physical unrestricted. Like, yeah. And so um, picked it back and said, look, we cannot agree to these terms. This violates all of our uh, cybersecurity policies, all our physical security. Like, can't do it. And they came back and said, either you can agree to it or we're going to go somewhere else. And I went, look, can't agree to it. And I mean, literally... It, it still burns me a little bit, right? Like, yeah. are you kidding me? But then at the same time, I got to thinking, like, as a company, anybody that would have agreed to their terms at some level would be a violation of their own terms. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, I can't agree to this deal. I hope someday they realize that, like, we were the probably the only partner that actually read their own terms and conditions um and took them seriously but i think that this is probably the first of many that's going to happen so that that's my like just burns me so yeah i think the vendor relationship management equation in all of our businesses include as msps but also as individual clients um is going to be way it's going to be significantly greater in the coming years um, because it's going to be part of your cyber liability it's going to be part of the managing your risk as an organization um and i think the the big takeaway from that steve and i can and i completely agree i was just in a situation recently it wasn't in our industry it was a, in a personal uh, uh situation where i was asked to sign an agreement and um there were some terms in there that i'm like mm, that's pretty over the top uh uh that's not fair that's not that i'm not yeah. going to agree to that and actually the comment that came back which is the, the kind of the, the point of your the riot roll up is um is is read the terms read it did you read read the contract and and the the, the comment that came to me, she, she actually said the person i was working with she's like thank you for reading the contract like my attorney put that in there but i thought that was a bit over the top so thank you for reading it. And I'm perfectly fine with making that change. And so we were good. But like, it, they, she actually said, thank you for reading the contract. Because yeah. most people don't. And so it is an important thing to make sure. And it's going to be, uh, be careful. Because it, it could violate things like your cyber liability and make them voided if you, if you well, don't watch out for that. And, and to that point, like both of us are cybersecurity companies at some point. And if we're not paying attention to those details on that end, what details are we not paying attention to for their cybersecurity? And That's so, right. yeah, at some point they should be alignment with good customers, but uh, not always does it happen. So that's my story. That is an unplugged riot roll up. We look forward to seeing you again soon.